Hey guys, just wanted to pop on here for a few minutes. Um, gonna see if there's anybody on here live with me. Um, <clears throat> if someone could let me know if uh, if they hear me, then we'll go ahead and get started here in just a few minutes. Hey, Christy, can you hear me okay? <clears throat> if someone could just let me know if they hear me all right then uh, we'll go ahead and awesome awesome wow looks like there's a lot of people on already so um, thank you guys for tuning in I wanted to take a few minutes got a lot of stuff going on here so I wanted to take a few minutes and come on live talk a little bit about some of the upcoming events that we've got going on I know you know the fall starts to be a really busy season especially for paranormal investigators and uh, bikers alike. So, um, so I wanted to get this information out there now and get it out there early. So I'd like to say hey to Christy Sumner, Matt Waddell, and uh, Marie Gibbs, and anyone else that is on here that's not showing up. Um, I'm going to try to man these uh, comments over here. Uh, so if I get a little bit behind, if you've got a question or got something you want to bring up, feel free. I'll be watching this over here. Uh, hey, Tim. Hey, Mark. Um, so I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe. I know it's been kind of a, a strange time with, with you know, the uh, pandemic and everything going on. So, um, but I wanted to go on here, talk a little bit, bit about everything that's going on. I've got a calendar that's posted and that's actually going to be updated because we've had a few events that have been changed in the last little bit. But um, the first one that's coming up is this coming Saturday, and it's in Franklin, Kentucky, and it benefits the Simpson County Historical Society. Whiskey Tango Foxtrot Paranormal, Bill Wilkerson, is him and his team are putting this event on. This is actually a very new, very cool location. Um, if you've been to uh, Octagon Hall and researched in the archives there, then you've probably seen this location. But what's coming up this Saturday is the first annual Parateam meet and greet. And it's going to be from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. Myself and a bunch of other paranormal teams are going to be there. Uh, Bill went live last night with a, uh, uh, with a live kind of talking about some of the things he said that uh, they are recommending that we wear masks and they're also saying uh, he's checked with the uh, city everything is good to go with that and uh, we'll be abiding by social distancing rules but um, this is going to be a really cool event Te different teams are coming we're asking a small donation i'll be one of the guest speakers as well as let's see uh I believe Leanne Estes from the Old South Pittsburgh uh, Hospital Research, uh, Paranormal Research Center. She'll be speaking as well. So he's gonna be publishing an itinerary on that. And like I said, there's, there's a lot of great teams, Black Sheep Paranormal, uh, The Fearless Ones, um, Elite Vixen. I think there's, there's quite a few teams that are going to be coming out on Saturday night. So I uh, hope you guys will, will come out to that. I'll have a little more information if anything changes through the week. Um, that's listed on the events page. We've got two really cool events coming up at the end of this month. They are Harley Davidson sponsored and one is going to be in Florence, Kentucky and that's going to be on August 29th and the other one is going to be in Cincinnati on August 30th. So we're going to take advantage of being up in that area for the weekend. If any of you came to the Harley event at White Lightning last year, then you're in for a treat if you come to uh, uh, these up in uh, Kentucky and Ohio. It's going to be a live band. Um, I'm just going to kind of read from my notes here for a minute. Um, let's see, on October, or I mean, excuse me, August 29th, it's going to be in Florence, Kentucky at High Stakes Harley Davidson from high noon until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. And Jason Owens is going to be providing live music. We're going to have food. We're going to do, uh, I'm going to release a episode as well as do a presentation on what I do. If you're, you know, if you're unfamiliar with me, um, what I do and some of the different places. It's part of my, my time behind bars tour. Uh, I'm doing a speaking tour where I talk about my time on the motorcycle 
as well as some of the different locations that I've investigated. There'll be a 30 minute Q&A session and I'll be giving away some uh, cool ghost biker merchandise as well as some of my artwork at that event the very next day, uh, August 30th at uh, Sin City, Harley Davidson. Um, the Heather Roush Band is gonna be performing. That is also gonna be from high noon until 4 p.m. Eastern time. Again, there'll be food, live music, I'll release an episode. Uh, it'll be a meet and greet where you'll be able to, um, you know, get, get pictures, uh, autographs, that sort of thing, be able to purchase Ghost Biker merch, and then I'll be doing a Q&A session. I hope you guys will come at me with some of your really cool, creepy stories that you've experienced from the road. These two Harley events, you don't have to be a motorcycle rider to attend. So uh, whether you ride or not, if you're a history buff, paranormal investigator, or biker, come on out and uh, if you are a biker just because it's at Harley doesn't mean that we don't welcome Hondas, Kawasaki's, um, anything you know any bikes are welcome so all bikes are welcome all people are welcome. Um, those are two of the Harley events that we're having. We've also had um, let's see a lot of folks uh, uh, a lot of folks ask about rides. Um, I do have a, a ride coming up and it is September 19th. This is something new that's going to be on the calendar tomorrow. If you've been watching my page, you've probably seen the event. This is a, a very special cause. It benefits the Scott High School Special Needs Program. And um, the Widow Sons Masonic Lodge, um, their Hillbilly Chapter uh, in Robbins, Tennessee, are the ones that are sponsoring this ride. I've actually been invited to um, have a table there, be able to talk to some folks, as well as uh, participate in the ride myself. So um, registration for that, again, that's on September 19th. Registration for that is 10.30 a.m. Kickstands up will be at noon, and it's $15 for a single rider, $20 if you're a double, and your purchase, um, like I said, goes to for autism awareness and the Scott High School Special Needs Program. And uh, your ticket will include your meal ticket, a raffle ticket, and you will get to listen to um, a very cool bluegrass band, Victory Bluegrass. Like I said, talk to me. I'm actually going to have some Ghost Biker merchandise up there as well. And the ride is going to go through the beautiful Big South Fork. If, uh, if you rode on my ride earlier this, uh, this summer, then you went through a portion of that. And uh, it's a very scenic, very beautiful, um, historic, and there's actually some haunted stuff along the way too. So I would advise to look back at uh, the video that I put out uh, if you want some information on uh, the Big South Fork. Um, there's also another event, um, and a couple of these events aren't actually up on my website just yet because um, they are meet and greets that are tagging on to some other really big events that are happening. So um, there will be the, I, I need a little more information on it, but I'm going to be holding a meet and greet at the second annual Music on Main Chili Cook-Off. That's going to be on September 12th, and that's on Main Street in Oneida. Um, there's going to be a lot of vendors, a lot of cool music, and uh, a lot of great chili from what I hear. So that it is an awesome event. Um, we are also doing, I'm, I'm super, super excited about this. Um, we're also going to be celebrating National Ghost Hunting Day with White Lightning Harley Davidson again this year. That was such a kick-ass party. Um, we had over 300 people attend last year. And so um, we're not going to do an episode uh, premiere on this one, but we're actually going to be doing, it's going to be a full scale season three kickoff party. So it's going to have live band, free food. Um, the event is free. Again, all bikes welcome. And it's going to run from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. And we'll have more information on that. I know I got to meet a lot of you last year and we just we just had an absolute blast so um there'll be again we'll be i'll be doing a presentation it'll be part of my time behind bars tour and um 
we'll have a Q and A session there as well. And again, giving away some uh, some cool Ghost Biker hat shirts and artwork. And so that's going to be on September 26th, which is National Ghost Hunting Day. So go ahead and get that on your calendar. Um, let's see. Again, I'm sorry, guys. I have a big long list uh, of stuff. Uh, October 10th is going to be the Oneida, Tennessee Zombie Fest, and that's going to take place on Main Street in Oneida, Tennessee. I don't have the times on that, but it's an all-day event, and uh, it's going to be a little bit different this year than last year. I know they're going to be doing a big zombie walk, and uh, I think the proceeds to this, it's a free event, but um, the uh, the proceeds go to, well, I say it's a free, like I said, I don't, I don't have the information. Uh, on this. The proceeds for I think like the zombie walk and that sort of thing goes to uh, benefit suicide prevention and awareness. So another just wonderful cause um, that we all you know that's that's touched most of our lives and we need to to be aware of. Um, we will be doing a ghost biker meet and greet on October 17th at Screamville Haunted Attraction in Knoxville. And, uh, you know, if, if any of you guys know Doug Cox, he has been working his butt off on this to uh, put together this, this really cool haunted attraction. I know it's one of uh, Knoxville's premieres um, haunted attraction. And uh, I just saw on there where they posted, you know, their uh, COVID, um, their outline of how they intend to uh, kind of operate through, you know, social distancing and uh, following, you know, the, the regulations and guidelines. Um, I know we don't really know what things are going to be like come October, but hopefully everything is wonderful and uh, kind of back to uh, back to normal. But just in case, they've got guidelines in place. Uh, I will be there that night on October 17th. So come out, go through the haunted attraction and come see me. Um, we've also got a handful of events that we're not, um, we're still working out the details on. Got to get those on the calendar. I know uh, Henry River Mill Village is one that we're talking to. Last year we did their Booze and Brews Festival. Uh, they're not having that this year, but um, they're going to be having uh, their flashlight tours. So I know that myself, as well as a collaboration presentation with uh, Soul Sisters Paranormal, and our investigation at Henry River Mill Village, we're going to be able to uh, uh, meet up on one of those nights and do a collaboration presentation. So that date's coming, as well as uh, a, a big ride that we're working on for next year. So uh, more details on that's going to be coming. It's going to be a really cool fundraiser, and um, it's, it's going to be another really, really cool ride. So anyways, just wanted to come on talk to you guys about that. You'll be able to see the stuff on our cal calendar as well as through the event pages. Uh, we'll get that updated. We'll have stuff coming on. So if you're interested in attending one of the events, please go on. Um, mark that you're interested or that you're going. That way you can receive updates because, you know, since things are kind of wonky right now, um, I'll be posting things as far as, uh, and they are in specific, you know, different states, and those states have specific guidelines. So um, I'll be posting certain things about that because we will be abiding by social distancing and, and uh, mask recommendations, whatever those may be. So, um, so yeah, if anyone has any questions, uh, I was looking at my notes, so I'm going to go back here and look through a couple of these comments. Uh, wow, thank you guys for for uh, for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited. You know, season three is coming out the first part of October, and we'll be releasing every Tuesday night during October uh, at 9 p.m. Um, we're still working out a few things about that um, to see exactly how that's going to go. But right now, everything is slated as planned, uh, starting that first Tuesday in October. Um, let's see here, uh, I've got some folks that are, are planning to come to uh, Florence, Kentucky, so looking forward to seeing you guys there. Um, I'm really excited about these Harley Davidson events because it's, it's something really different and it's exciting because we're able to take 
what we do with the paranormal and extend it to a, a wider audience um, and talk about travel and talk about, you know, the whole, whole motorcycle aspect and really just open it up to a broader audience and, and uh, meet some, uh, some really cool people. So really looking forward to those and I'm really thankful for Harley Davidson for the sponsorship and the opportunity. Um, Want to say hello to Tim Hopper, Jim Owens, Don Hancock, Heather Jordan Mahoney, one of our good friends from Pittsburgh, um, Brian Baum with Bearded Paranormal. Hope to see you guys at some of these different events. Jennifer Holtman, I've got to meet her at uh, the Harley Davidson event there in Chattanooga. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, message. Um, Joe Shortridge says, uh, where is White Lightning Harley Davidson? Uh, in case I didn't say, I apologize. That is in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So uh, I know I ran through all of that kind of quick. Um, so I just wanted to you know, get it out there. But again, we'll have all this information on the page. So please help me share, get this out there and spread the word. Um, Philip Parker, one of my good friends from uh, the Unscripted uh, podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. Marie Gibb Russell and Tim Hopper from Paranormal Talk 2. So let's see here. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of going through the comments here. Uh, let's see. Jim Owens, I have plans to go to the Franklin event plus the local ones. That's awesome, Jim. Thank you. Um, what's really cool, again, about this Franklin event here uh, coming up this Saturday is this is a really cool new location. Uh, it houses the archives and the historical information there in uh, Simpson County there in Kentucky. So, again, if you've visited some of the different locations like Octagon Hall, then you've probably gone inside of this building and researched. So they're actually opening it up as a para new paranormal location and uh, the money that's raised at this event is going to go to help fund this and uh, you know kind of introduce some people to to a really cool new active location. So if there's no specific questions here um, we will hop off soon, uh, hop off here in a second, um, but like I said, just, just stay tuned and watch. We've also got some uh, lives coming. Um, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the big Paracon in uh, Las Cruces, New Mexico, that was the first weekend of October, we're going to have to remove that one from the calendar. Um, they, they've had to uh, shut that one down just because of um, the community not being open there in that city so um, and there's a lot of people from around the country flying into there so including myself um, so that one is actually going to be put on hold and uh, until a later date and um, so that weekend is has uh, kind of opened up I had it's unfortunate because I actually had several really cool investigations that I was going to be filming at I had uh, three different places out there we were going to be filming at and even doing some lives. Uh, I've not had the opportunity to investigate in New Mexico so um, you know so that's unfortunate but we we'll hope to make it out there again uh, later uh, either next year or later in the year. So um, thanks guys thank you for uh, your your kind words I'm seeing a lot of, of really great comments and uh, compliments over here Thank you. I hope you guys stay safe. Anyone that's uh, any of my biker friends that uh, have traveled out to uh, Sturgis for the uh, upcoming, uh, well, the, it's going on right now, but for the upcoming, uh, I guess, nine days are left in the event. Stay safe and uh, make it back. Come to my events and, uh, you know, just, just everyone stay safe out there. And like I said, just kind of keep an eye out on the events section and we will uh, post as things come up and get some of those things on the calendar and hopefully give you guys enough time to uh, plan and, and come out. Um, like I said, if you ride, uh, make sure to uh, look into the, the ride that's coming up because I know we've had a lot of people 
uh, that participated on the ride that we did back in June um, that's been asking if we were going to do another one. Uh, unfortunately, we're not doing another haunted ride. We just haven't had the time with putting the season together and with uh, the virus and everything that's that's uh, going on. It's it's um, it takes a lot to put those together. So um, so I hope that uh, you guys will join us on the uh, benefit ride on September 19th. So, anyways, um, I hope you guys have a great evening. Stay safe, and we will talk soon. Take care.